Hello YouTube. Um, how have you all been doing wherever you are around the world? I hope you're all keeping safe. The pandemic is crazy. So um, today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial that was actually requested by a subscriber, Marco5000. He actually dropped this comment like eight months ago, but I've been very busy with my games. I'm trying to get my games on iOS. I've been making more as well. You can find some time to check out my games on App Store or Google Play Store. Okay, so let me read out this comment. He said, "Hey, can you do a tutorial about inflating objects to make the to make them really inflated?" I was like, and then he was like, um, "Like in Cinema 4D PS, this is awesome." So he was actually referring to this tutorial that I did, um, Autodex 2D X Max tier clock with clock modifier and 2D X Max, no plugins. So um, the tutorial was actually about the clock modifier. So he wants me to now show him how to do something inflated. So I'm going to be showing you how to do this in 3D X Max quickly. So let's get it started. Let's say we have a box that is subdivided, something like this. This might end up looking like a pillow, so brace yourselves. Don't guess. Don't don't sleep off. Okay, so I'm gonna convert this to editable poly right away. Then come to my hedge. So once I do that, it opens this um to um this this um new section for me. This is uh, where I get to edit my any mesh that I want to create in 3D X. So I click on the hedge. So I'll select. I'll draw like this and select all these edges, then right click, convert, um, connect, then I'll set this to about 40 or 30. 30 is fine. So I'll say OK. So once I'm done with that, I'll click out. It has created it, but I can't see it. So to be able to see it, I'll just press F4. So it shows, shows me my edges and faces. So I'll draw my um, marquee tool again and select all these um, vertical edges as well. So I'll Right click, connect settings. I'll do the same thing. 32 is fine. Okay. So now that we have a subdivided to um box, so I think I should just right click um select this one, the head here. These are the um the other vertical edges. So I'll click one and I hold my shifts and select one more. What's going on? Click this and hold shifts. I'm supposed to ring. Okay now. I just click so once you click one just click the ring tool click one and click the ring tool which rings selects everything for you so just right click connect but this time we're going to reduce the segments to about two two is fine oh sorry three is okay so um now all i need to do is add my clock modifier but first i'm going to name this to pillow so we're going to inflate this into a pillow gonna be magical hope you're ready so um i'll click on the modify list i'll select my cloud modifier and don't forget the modify list modify list is yeah just beside the pre, um standard primitive and the create um the create tab so i'll click on the modify tab then you have a so modify list below under your name um the object name so modify is the cloud modifier i'll select the cloud modifier usually here yeah, or you can just type it to pop up or press C to bring everything close to C. So, cloud modifier, I'll delete one, I don't need two. So, once that is selected, make sure it's indicated that you're on the cloud modifier. Then, I'll go to my object properties. Then, the pillow, I'll select the pillow and make it make sure it's a cloud because currently it's on inactive. So, select cloud. Then, under the presets, you need to add it to, or let's say we need rubber because rubber is more stretchy because this guy said really inflated. So, let, let me just quickly show you something. If I move to cutting, you see this V stretch and the U stretch are actually quite high. The higher they are, the less stretchy. So let's come to spandex. You know spandex like the one females wear like the, the call tights. So this one is about 35. That's like half of seven um cotton. So if you go to rubber, that's like really low. It's just 1.0. So the most important setting here, aside from the preset and the cloth. The third most important set, um, because this was this actually will give us um, the effect of inflation. So I'm gonna set the pressure to three. Click OK, then we're done. Okay, but one more thing, I need turn off gravity because I don't want this thing to fall off. So I'm gonna be stopping sky or wherever we are. This is the floor. <clears throat> okay, so I'll click the simulate button and voila, the magic. 
So we, we can see that we've been able to inflate these objects with very few steps. So another thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how to use another object. But before that, um, I'm going to convert this to an editable poly. So I'll say co col col collapse all. So I'll say yes. And that's it. It's now an editable mesh. So, okay, editable poly. So let's create one more object. So, so I'm, this time I'm going to use a shape. I'm just going to show you quickly. Um, let's say we want to give our pillows around because you can do this with virtually any um, any shape you want. So we're going to use two shapes quickly. Let's start with this circle. So I'll go I'll draw my circle. I'll add an editable poly to give it a face quickly. Boom. So with that done, I'm going to select the edges. I'll select the edges. I'll extrude up. I, I usually extrude my edges by holding shift or I'll right click and click um but it's just the fastest way when I'm working with shapes or polygons when I select edges I hold shift and I just extrude extrude it right away or I can just click on the extrude button here and to show I'll bring it to the edge and just extrude it hmm? so let's hold shift and do it faster okay good then now that we have the edges but we need a covered surface we need a capped surface to create this effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come to modify list and say cap holes. Yeah, this is a modifier called cap holes. So it just covers whatever holes you have in your mesh. So boom, that's it. But we notice um, an interesting problem, which is the fact that this object is actually dark. Like the normals are flipped. So I'll, I'll come, I'll click on this. I'll convert this to an editable poly again, or I can just add an editable poly on it. But uh, let's do that. It's way better, non-destructive. So boom. <clears throat> so another editable poly. Then I'll press Control A to select all the faces. Then I'll scroll down here. I'll see flip and click on flip. So it just flips the normals for me, and now I can see it properly. Good. So now I convert this to editable poly. Let it go. Boom. Yeah. Then one more thing I need to do is I need to give these faces like this <clears throat> because right now these places um there are no um, subdivisions on both ends. So I'll select this, I'll hold control and select this, boom. Then I'll come back to my subdivision, onto my modify panel and press S, then it brings me to where all my um, modifiers with it, starting with the S and the R quite close. So I'll click subdivide, then it subdivides it for me and that's what I needed. So I'll right click again, collapse all. So collapsing all is more like um, I'm merging all modif modifications together to make the, yeah, that makes my life easier. So, um, all I need to do is add my plot modifier again. So, we're going to go through this again plot modifier, object settings. We didn't name this one, okay, it's fine. So, um, circle plot, then the pressure. Um, let's let's rubber. Then the pressure, let's set the pressure to four. Okay, so for the, for, for this example, let's let's use spandex. Yeah, spandex. So pressure, you need to set the pressure. The moment you change this um the, the preset, you need to set the pressure again. So I'll set the pressure to four, like you said. I click OK, then scroll down, gravity is off. So click simulate local, and it's actually quite fast. <clears throat> so all the objects actually, all the um, presets actually behave like the real world presets. So keep that in mind. So you can see it's not that stretchy. So I need to set this to rubber. So you see the effects. It's usually crazy. So I'll set this to four. Okay. Then simulate. Boom. Can you see the effect? It's just turn this to like um, smartest, like M and M. <laughs> so this is fine, and we're done with this. So let's do one more quickly. So at this time I'm going to be using a text. So uh, I'll click a click a text. Let's say um, um, the code is um, max. I just drop it right there. Let's let's look for a font that is way fatter than this. So I'll just come straight down. Oh no! Come back to your modify panel with this selected. You can see the font so we're on area. Let's say we sell it. Um, I think we have some like called area black. Which is thicker we have black yeah which is much thicker so i'll bring this to the middle then we just 
added to poly the same um method we used there we're gonna try it again so um edit poly right there then select all the edges control here then you hold your shift and you just drag your arrow hop in the z axis don't forget the z axis is key so z axis is up so that's the whole point of 3d anyway so now we're gonna do one more thing which is a cap pose with all those parts selected cap holes so it fills it up then one more thing convert this to editable poly select all the faces control here that's after I select my polygon control here then I'll go ahead and flip the normals boom and that's it so one more thing we need to do is um, subdivide this we need to subdivide because there are no um, subdivisions at this point it's quite low so click on S subdivide so your subdivide uh, subdivision modifier the lower it is the more subdivided the object will be so let's set it to five be careful when doing this because it might crash your computer if it's too much so I, i'm okay with that i'll just convert this collapse this right away then the same process again cloud object properties cloud select your text cloud then you had rubber pressure to four okay then right away scroll down the show gravity is off then simulate boom you can see the magic right boom so we've been able to um create this effect on multiple objects and that's what we have here so i hope you like it guys i hope you found this tutorial helpful and i hope to see you in the next video yeah so if you're new here don't forget to subscribe if you uh if you've been watching my video over the years thank you for sticking around yeah, I love you all. Peace out.